Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Aviation 5 here with another video. Um, so today we'll be doing a model review of the Gemini Jets Alaska uh, Boeing 737-800 in 1-400 scale. At the moment, this is still quite a rare model. I know that NG is releasing one of these uh, in their next release. And I might pick it up, I'm not sure yet. Um, there's a bunch of NG models, planes that I do want to get, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, I am happy that I have the Gemini model because it is quite rare. Uh, they have they have only made one of these planes in this livery. But yeah, so I'll start with the box now. Taking a look here at the box, we've got the Gemini Jets logo, made for collectors by collectors the computer-generated image of the aircraft, Boeing 737-800. Then we've got the Alaska Airlines logo and 1-400 scale die-cast model aircraft. Looking at the flap on the box, you can see the uh, information about this aircraft, which you can pause and read here. Moving on with the box, uh, we've got the Gemini Jets logo and some information there on the right. Here we have another logo and then the computer generated image of the aircraft, uh, Boeing 737-800, 1400 scale die cast model and then the item number. On this side we have another logo and some more information. And then this side of the box is the same as its opposite side. Taking a look at the back of the box now, you can see a computer generated image of the aircraft climbing out. Uh, we've got the logo again, and then all the company information. And this is a 2016 Gemini Jets release. So that's the box. And now I'll start with the model itself. If my camera focuses, there we go. So up in the nose, you can see the nose cone, the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers. There is the registration above the cockpit windows, which says uh, 563. Below the cockpit windows, there's some text that says Boeing. And then I think below it, it's like proudly made by Boeing or something or like proudly Boeing. I can't really tell. We've got the nose gear below that, and the nose gear has the E-tops, and then Boeing, or then the 737-800 decals on the side. We have the L1 boarding door right there. Moving on back, you can see the Alaska logo, one antenna, oh, and then the uh, overwing exits and the pathway markings. We've got the engines here with a bit of detailing. Here we have the winglets and the port light. Moving back, we have the registration, which is November 563 Alpha Sierra. We've got the American flag there and the rear exit door. Looking at the back here, you can see the horizontal stabilizers and the tail fin. And then the APU is back there. It's just kind of hard to see. Moving along to the other side of the plane, um, we have the starboard light here on the end, and then the cargo doors, there's one there, and there's one in the back there. Taking a look now from the front, uh, we can see into the engines. This is in the older 737 mold, so they don't look that detailed. Uh, they don't even have, like, any dark gray painting or anything. Moving on to the bottom of the aircraft now. Uh, in the nose, we have some text right there that says 800. You can see the nose gear and the gear hold doors. We've got one antenna there. Quite a bit of detailing under the engines, which I really like. We have the Gemini Jets logo and the stand hole. 
Uh, there's a beacon light there, the, no, or the rear landing gear and the rear gear hold, another antenna. Moving on back, you can see the cargo door, and then there's like a tail skid thing, and then the APU access port. And you can see the APU a bit better now. So that's the whole model. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, this is a model I would definitely recommend picking up. I know the NG one is probably going to go pretty fast because um, they haven't released an Alaska plane yet. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this video, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.